Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review of the Adidas Element Refined Running Shoes. Now as you can see it comes in a fairly standard, fairly small Adidas box but nothing too crazy. We'll take a quick look at the label. Unfortunately there's some stickers over top so I can't actually read you guys the colorway but it's listed as the Element Refine. The pair I have here is a size 9.5 US and the retail price on these guys is only $70 US which for the most part is pretty inexpensive for a pair of running shoes. Now, along with the shoes, you get an extra set of insoles. The ones that come in the shoes are not removable. So if you want something that's going to provide a little bit of additional cushioning, you can slide these in. It's pretty much just a very soft, spongy foam. And again, it's there just as an option if you want something with a little bit more underfoot cushioning. And that's pretty much it as far as extras are concerned. So I'll get the shoes out of the box really quickly. And honestly, this is perhaps one of the most important shoe releases of 2013 for the simple fact that I think the main reason why Adidas put this shoe out at such a low price is that they're trying to drive down the price of Nike's Flyknit technology. As of right now, all of the Nike Flyknit runners are relatively expensive and I would say the next closest thing to the Element Refine which is going to be a very low profile barefoot style runner is going to be the brand new Free Flyknit 3.0 which retails for double the price of the Element Refine at $140 and as you guys can see this shoe follows a lot of the same design elements as Nike's Flyknit uppers do. It's very thin, it's very flexible, and it's going to provide that sock-like feel. There's no internal liner as you can see, and this is not Flyknit, it's not Adidas's Prime Knit either. It's more of a woven mesh material, but its construction is very unique. It's some of the thinnest, most flexible mesh I've ever seen. Um, it looks very cool, and you can see that there's no fuse on the upper at all. All of the seams are kind of stitched together within the material itself, so it kind of has that feeling of being a one-piece upper, similar to what you would get from Flyknit or Primeknit from Adidas. And again, it's a very cool shoe at a very inexpensive price. And if you guys are interested in picking these up, they're currently available in only two colorways, but at $70, you really can't go wrong. I will leave a Buy It Now link in the description of this video, so be sure to go ahead and check it out if you are at all interested. Now, in terms of the colorway, this is, like I said, one of two colors. It's kind of like a neon yellow, neon green type of color in combination with the black in the mesh itself. So it's kind of two different colors of string woven together, which to me looks very very cool you do have your classic adidas stripes in the form of this very very thin layer of fuse only on the outside of the shoe you can see it does not carry through on the inside so again it doesn't add any support or structural integrity to the shoe itself it's there simply for looks it's their branding i guess you have that kind of neon green color in the laces themselves and then one solid area of neon green at the back of the heel which is kind of like a hard foam not hard but like a thicker foam material and that's just there to prevent any kind of movement in the heel it doesn't want to you don't want it to be slipping around or anything like that so that's why they use a slightly more rigid material here as opposed to being straight up mesh Another unique design element that I thought was kind of cool about this shoe, some people may not like it, is that they put the sizing tag on the outside of the tongue as opposed to on the inside. You can see it says 9.5 US, made in China, you got your Adidas logo, and then it's got all the same thing you would normally find on an Adidas tag. I think that's pretty cool they put it on the outside. Some of you guys may have different opinions, I guess leave those down below in the comments. But again, what's cool about this shoe is it has that fine aesthetic, it's got no liner on the inside, it's extremely soft and flexible, you can wear them with or without socks and they're going to feel essentially like a pair of socks and they're only $70 so you really can't go wrong. Like I mentioned, there is no removable insole other than the ones that they include as extras with the shoes. You can see it says run natural, so this is intended as more of a barefoot style shoe. And for the most part, from what I can tell, I haven't actually put them on yet, there isn't a lot of cushioning here. The midsole is completely white as you can see, and it's listed as a rubber, but honestly it doesn't feel like rubber. It's kind of like a hard foam, similar to what we find on the Nike Roshi runs. Um, or even the Nike Hyper Rev basketball shoe, but a little bit softer, I guess, in comparison to those. Um, there's no rubber on the bottom either. It's just kind of got a little bit of a slight texturing to it. So for the most part, this is something that is designed as a straight up running shoe and not something I would use as a trainer. There's not a lot of lateral support. And if you make hard, quick lateral cuts, again, you don't have that rubber under your feet to provide any additional traction. So you may find yourself slipping a lot. And if you slip on concrete, you're likely to rip right through the upper here. 
Um, so again, buy this as a barefoot style running shoe where you're running at a steady pace in a straight line, and I really wouldn't use them for much else than that, other than of course, if you wanted to wear them casually, which I will be doing quite frequently because I think these look absolutely incredible. So that's pretty much it as far as tech specs are concerned on the shoe. Move on next to a quick on feet so we can get a better idea as to how these look and what the sizing is like. All right, here's a look at the shoes on feet with a pair of shorts. I'm currently wearing them without socks just because they feel like socks, so there really isn't any need to wear them. And they're just very, very comfortable shoes. As expected, the upper is extremely flexible and just moves very naturally with your foot. In terms of underfoot cushioning, there isn't a lot here, especially if you don't use the additional insoles. But should you slide those additional insoles inside the shoe, it has a similar cushion level. Uh, maybe even a little bit more than something like a pair of Nike Roshi Runs, which is really what I would compare these to in terms of overall feel. But again, unlike the Nike Roshi Run, this is touted as a performance runner, kind of a barefoot style. So in terms of underfoot cushioning, there's some, but definitely not a lot. In terms of sizing, I'm wearing my usual size 9 US here, and the fin length is absolutely perfect, and there's a decent amount of width to the shoe as well, not to mention that the mesh material is also very soft and flexible. So for the most part, even if you have really wide feet, you should be able to fit very comfortably into the Adidas Element Refine. So that's pretty much it as far as what they look like on feet with a pair of shorts. And move on next to what they look like on feet with a pair of pants. All right, here's a quick look at the Element Refine on feet with a pair of pants. And considering that this shoe is very simple in terms of overall design, with pretty much just a standard white midsole, your three stripes down the middle, and uh, pretty much a straight mesh upper, it's very wearable as an everyday casual shoe in my opinion. Obviously this is one of the more complex, brighter colorways, but if you go for the other colorway variation that is currently available, which is pretty much like a black, dark gray color, it's wearable with pretty much everything. They look great. They're extremely comfortable and wearable as an everyday style of shoe, not to mention that they are only $70 US, so they're an absolutely fantastic value as a whole. And again, one of those shoes that I think a lot of people should consider, especially if you're looking for that fly knit type of feel without the fly knit price. All right, guys, this is it for my review of the Adidas Element Refine. This is essentially fly knit on a budget, if you ask me. For $70, this is an absolutely fantastic value, and I really hope this shoe does well because I truly do think that it can help to drive down the price of fly knit from Nike, which is a good thing for everybody. Not to mention that the shoe itself is really comfortable. I'm not convinced on it in terms of uh, being a performance running shoe at this point in time, but in terms of wearing these casually, they're comfortable to wear. I think they look really good. And of course, that sock-like upper they have on here is just extremely unique overall. So again, if you're interested in purchasing a pair of these for yourself, they're available for only $70 US through the link in the description. Also, if you want to get a better idea as how these actually do look in person, you can check out my, my images of the shoe on the review page of my website, also linked down below. Now, if you have any questions or suggestions for products you'd like to see featured on the channel, be sure to leave those comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to support it with a like, subscribe for more sneaker reviews. All of my social media information is down below in the description. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.